think for me, it's like Peace Corps has always been something that I've always considered as something that I would do because my father served in Peace Corps in Ethiopia and in Eritrea. Um, and so I'm one of the few that kind of has that connection, I think. And the fact that we don't have, like there were lower numbers of volunteers that are um, people of color, that are black, Latin, they, they, they don't have that kind of connection um, as like other white volunteers might have. So it's really important to also see how that could affect recruitment. Um, the other question too that I have in terms of recruitment, I think is looking over all at the mission of Peace Corps. When Peace Corps was first created, it was an exciting thing. Um, it was something that was radical, really. Um, and as we go forward and the, you know, the population in the U.S., a new generation kind of comes about and they're dual national. They're all types of different backgrounds. Um, they have also different expectations and what they want to do and what they want to be a part of. And they're questioning neocolonialism. They're having a lot of questions about Peace Corps overall. And so like, how will Peace Corps and NPCA shift? Um, I know even questions about, you know, joining NPCA, a lot of volunteers that I know that are Black or Asian or people of color don't feel like NPCA or Peace Corps is for them. And so how do we kind of expand that discussion and make them also feel like they're a part of this as well, you know? Um, even for me, without the works with WCAPS, I'm not sure if I would have been as involved with NPCA. And so I feel like that is a concern um, that I have, at least for recruitment and getting people involved with NPCA and Peace Corps.